about just getting out in the wilderness, seeing the scenery and the different aromas and everything as you walk along. It's just awesome to be up there, way up high on a ridge looking down. And that's why I'd like to see more people out doing it as a family. I think it would make such a difference if they just see God's creation. I mean, it's just cool. It is a slow morning, that's for sure. I think we'll set up and just sit and see if uh, we hear a bugle or if they all start moving down towards the creek and then we can make a plan from there. Do you see the little draw right to the left where there's the big pines? That's where they are. There's two standing up and one laying down. The little guy too, five point. I still think the big bull's over here though. With the cows. Somewhere. Yeah, he's, he may be right over that rise. Let's, uh, let's go on down and see if we can get to where we can look up behind this. I mean, he's not bad. He's in that 315, 320. Real pretty ball. Point, you could really see the work that had been done here, creating water resources, clearing timber, clearing brush, creating habitat that elk thrive in. This place is really the kind of place that you dream about your whole life. I had a stellar first morning in Colorado. My guy, Johnny, swears that we can find something maybe a little bit bigger. We've got five days to hunt. Hunting, it's something I can do with Scott. Scott's very passionate about it, and it's a little competitive. He's got a lot nicer bulls than I've got, and so one of these days I might catch up to him. We could go right down, there's another well. They're only about 200 yards from the other well. The only thing is before I commit to going around and doing that, I'd like to see what the bull is. So I don't know what that wind's gonna be doing down down there where they are. That would be pretty good. You'd be able to sneak right in on them. Oh, they winded us. 
with that scent, just move right into them. <laughs> the way that, we could do. The way this wind is blowing yeah. right to them and looked like maybe about a 300 class bull anyway, so we're probably not gonna go after yeah. it the first day here. So. What do you think, Lori? I was hoping a bigger one would come out behind him. <laughs> it's not a bad bull either. Really. He's a good enough bull, too. Hey, Scott, you guys just take your time and make your way to the truck. Oh, I'll, uh, I probably won't have you come get us till dark. Just never really got another uh, chance to get a shot at him before he went up and over the top. This guy also shut those elk down quick. They alert everything. Those elk will shut up. Shot, he's behind a tree. Drop 
That's pretty good. Get another shell. Just hold on. Hey, he just went down, Christy. You got it. He's not going to get up right there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> good job. I'm so excited. I can't wait to go see him. I know. <laughs> She's beautiful. Opportunities come and go when hunting. Sometimes they work out and sometimes they don't. For me, in this situation, I got very lucky. Thank you so much, what a great day. I am so excited to put my hands on this beautiful bull. Yeah, yeah, incredible. The biggest bull I'd ever taken was now on the ground and um, I was taking him home. I love elk hunting. <laughs> This is my first morning hunting with Bully, and you're all dialed and ready. The bulls are bugling. They're just lighting up right over the drop. See, ma'am, but we can hear them. Isn't that a wonderful sound? I love it. I gotta get 
They just somehow always can figure something out to, to get it out of there without getting shot. Awesome. That's why it's so much fun is they're KG and he got away. Well, we tried, huh? Lori is an amazing woman. She loves the outdoors. She loves her family. And she just loves to share everything that makes being out here so amazing with the people she cares about. And that's pretty special. It doesn't bother me not to even go home with an elk because I like to get out in the outdoors and see all the scenery. And even if you just see elk and don't get a shot, it's really cool. that elk hunting is a gruff backcountry. You can't do this unless you're a big hairy man kind of thing. You couldn't be more wrong. In this episode, you just watch two women who love the outdoors and welcome its challenges. Look, elk hunting is something that we can all enjoy. It may not be easy, and usually it's not. But man or woman, if you put your mind to it, you can do it. At Team Elk, we are very proud of the women of the outdoors who hunt with us. Congrats to Christy on a great bull, and no doubt, I'm sure Lori will be back at it again soon. Until next time, thanks for watching Team Elk. Make sure you check us out at rmef.org to see how you can get involved. And remember, hunting is conservation.